Hello, good evening. I'm your brother, Hosanna David. I want to appreciate God for giving us another opportunity to uh, share the word of God with us. Uh, it's my pleasure to come your way again. I hope everything is well. I hope you are not giving up on your faith. There are many trials in the world, but I want to encourage every one of you that watch this video to be encouraged in the Lord because the times are getting hard and harder every day. I went somewhere, so I decided to go to a nearby market to uh, pick up a few things. And I had a kind of experience that really touched me. I, I finished buying everything I wanted to buy in the market. So at the point of trying to come back home, I saw a woman in the market. She was, the place was very busy. So she was holding her son, her son, I believe the boy, the way I saw both of them should be her son. Uh, the woman was selling sachet water and a young boy, I think that boy should be about 13 to 15 years old. Uh, he, he was hawking uh, powder soap uh, tied in the cellophane. So I, I saw both of them and I had pity on them. I was so touched in my spirit. I called the woman. I told her, please, I want to buy some sachet water from you. So I brought her money, a thousand naira note, and I asked her, uh, do you have balance to give to me? I asked her, I just teased her, uh, how much for all of them? Uh, I was so touched. I actually didn't want to buy from her, but I I was so moved. Why don't you give this woman something? Why don't you give her some money? At least some of her, some people in her situation are uh, committing havoc in the society, but she decided to walk. I actually remember growing up in a very hard situation raised by a single mom and my other two siblings, older brothers, and how things were rough. My mom was hustling, trying to set food on the table for us every day. I remember those times and I was touched. The message I want to pass to us today is that if you have not seeing the other side of life, I mean the bitter side of life. If you see people on the street, don't neglect them. People are suffering. I know what I passed through, even my primary school, secondary school, how, in fact, before I started my secondary school, I had to become a farmer first. I was already 17 years old when I finished my primary school education. And at 17, I told myself, if I must make it in this world, I have to work hard. So I had to clear a virgin forest in the village, riverine area, and I became a farmer. I had my own farm before I started GSS1, junior secondary school, because I wanted to work hard and make it in life. I don't know how you felt in this world. Maybe things were very good for you when you were growing up, even now. Maybe things are good, but how do you treat the poor? I was born poor, but I had a dream that I became rich. I'm not rich yet, 
but I know I am rich. God will definitely make me rich one day. And every time I tell God that God, if you give me money, I'm not going to be the hooters. What I'm saying is that we've seen many ministers in the world who have private jets and there are poor people around them who are dying of hunger. They don't give to them. And they even uh, use the name of Jesus to threaten people, use the anointing to threaten people, to give the little they have to them. Forgetting that pastors are in a position, God puts pastors in a position to redistribute wealth. The rich give to the men of God, and the men of God distribute this money to the poor and not to enrich themselves. There are lots of people who don't even give to the poor on the street, but to give to, but they give so much, sell their properties, sell their cars into the lives of these false prophets. Well, it's not bad to give to men of God, but if you are giving to the fake men of God, God may bless you, but if you know they are fake and you give to them, well, God may bless you, but it's about soil to sow your seed. You see the poor on the street, why don't you give to them? There are beggars, there are homeless people on the street. Why don't you give to them? There are people who can't afford three square meals. Why don't you give to them? Please read your Bible. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 25. Read verse 31 following. Jesus said that when he shall come, the king is going to separate the sheep from the goats. And he will tell his faithful servants, that come into my kingdom and enjoy everything that the Lord has prepared for you. Because you saw me on the street naked and you clothed me. You saw me when I was hungry and you fed me. You saw me I was thirsty and you gave me drink. You saw me when I was in prison. Nobody visited me, but you visited me. And the people will say, Lord, when did we see you hungry? When did we see you thirsty or evil, uh, destitute and we clothed you? When did we see you in prison and we visited you? And the Lord will tell them, because you did it for one of these ones in this world. You also did it for me. Please remember the poor. Don't neglect the poor. There may be people who were once rich, but because of the way they live their lives, they have become poor, or maybe they were born poor, or because of the situation they find themselves, they are poor. For instance, because of the kind of sicknesses that afflict them, they are poor. Please, whichever way you see them, provided they are poor, please remember them. Remember the sick. Give to them. Let me just share an experience I had. I had a dream one day. And I saw two men of God, one was a venerable, one a reverend. And then uh, it was like either the reverend or the venerable died. And before he died, he willed the, both of them, they built a petrol station, a filling station. So uh, before one of them died, I can't remember exactly, but I wrote the dream down. Before one of them died, he wrote a will and willed the part is the part of uh, his ownership to a woman, I believe a widow, before he died. And he died. Another time, so where in the dream, I, where actually, where the dream actually started was the one of them, the other one, also died and met the one that willed his uh, part of ownership to a, a, a widow, a poor woman. And met in heaven, and he saw the uh, the other uh, uh, man of God that died long time ago counting money. And he saw the money. He said, "Well, uh, uh, this is the money we sold. This is the sales of today. Why did the sale come here? This is the money I can recognize. This money very well. This is the money we sold this morning today before I died." And the man said, "Well." Uh, since I willed the part of my wealth 
uh, part of the ownership to the poor woman, all the money should come to me, even your own part. They have been coming to me all this while. And I told myself when I wake up, this is what the Lord is teaching me. That when we give to the poor, we are not actually giving to them, but we are building, amassing wealth for ourselves in heaven. Salvation is free. Everybody that has a gift of salvation that continued in the faith is going to make it to heaven. But our rewards are different. Our rewards are different. Some people will receive little rewards, but some will not receive little, but receive big rewards. Because salvation is the same. Once you are saved, you continue in the faith, you will make it by God's grace. But, but those who work tirelessly for God, they will have greater rewards. Those who lead many to Christ, the Bible says, the book of Daniel, shall shine like stars. They shall have stars in their crowns. How are you living your life? Do you remember the poor? Please remember the poor. I, let me just share another experience that I had. I had a revelation one day, and I, I saw you know, some of these uh, musicians who live very luxurious lives. Uh, see some of these cars they have. I the car was like a living room. It was like a parlor. It has chairs, very flamboyantly designed. And I saw a man of God sitting in that kind of car. He sat and was like some of these uh, rock stars. And God told me, "Did you see that man of God?" I was hearing the voice of God speaking to me. Did you see that man of God? When I see them, those who rob the poor in the world, when I see them, I see them as criminals. That person you are seeing there, I see him as a criminal. I don't see him as my servant. Don't be like these ones. That is a message the Lord gave me some time ago. Please give to the poor. When you see people who are pushing along the road and you see them that they have financial needs, those, I'm not talking about those beggars who go and beg people and just, they don't tell you about your sin, they don't preach about repentance, they just tell you that your God is with you. I'm not talking about those ones who ask you to give offering. I mean, those ones who preach the true message of Jesus Christ. If you see them, give freely to them. About two weeks ago, I had an experience. I saw a man of God. I never knew he was a pastor. I entered a public vehicle, and then he came, preached, asked people to repent, and prayed with us. The next minute, he was leaving. He never asked anybody to sow any seed into his life. So I called him. I told him, you are doing a very good work. Don't be discouraged. I brought that money. And I gave the money to him. And I told the people, please, if you have money, give to this man. He's working for God. These are the genuine people. Don't give your money to those who come in the name of God and beg you for money and don't tell you the truth. Don't give your money to these people. So, and I was happy that people were giving to him willingly. And by the time we left, uh, the driver was telling me that this man had been preaching in this place. He does not care about your money. He just preached the word of God, message of salvation to people, and he goes back to where he, uh, uh, where he lives. Please invest into the kingdom of God. Invest into the lives of the poor. This is a message I just want to share with us today. I have come from a very poor background, very humble background, and I know where I'm coming from. When I see the poor, it touches my heart. I don't know where you are coming from. Some poor people, when they become rich, they see the other poor people as nothing. But probably you had that experience of hardship because the Lord wanted you to taste the other side, of, have a taste of the other side of life so that you could redistribute wealth. How are you using the money that the Lord places into your hand? Subscribe to my YouTube channels. Igwa Yokna, 
Hosanna E. E. David. Thank you. God bless you. You can visit my website, iguayopna.com and also biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you. God bless you. Stay away from sin. And the Lord will never let you down. We know we are not making it because we are righteous, but so long as we have the hunger for righteousness, one day we will be filled and we will become perfect like our Father in heaven. God bless you. Remain rapture ready. Bye-bye.